So this right here is my desk, and this is basically where I sit and do my makeup every morning. I don't actually use this to do my schoolwork, although it does hold some of my school stuff, but I just do my makeup here, and that's about it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a tour of everything that's on this top shelf here, and then I have a drawer right there. This desk was supplied by my school, and I'm really thankful for it because it's actually a really nice sized desk, and it holds a lot of stuff, so it's really, really convenient. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the top shelf right here. Um, over here. I just have this little sign that I actually got from Kohl's a while ago. It was like $5. I just put it right here. I thought it was cute. And then this is a container I got from Walmart. This is very little. You can see how big it is. Nothing too big. It's just like, I think it was a dollar or maybe it was $3, but very inexpensive. And just inside of here, I just store a bunch of like hair products, um, lotions, more lotion, hair products, random stuff like tanning stuff, like just anything of that sort sits in there. And then moving over next to that here, I have my perfumes and body sprays. I have two perfumes here, and then I just have a bunch of Victoria's Secret body sprays and another hair product that didn't fit in there. And then in here, I have my lotion. This is my favorite Febreze. It's the strawberry fig scent um, deodorant. And then right here, I have this little, or I don't know if it's a, not a unicorn, it's just a horse that a girl that I babysit got for me. So that's really cute to put right there. Back there, I just have a picture, you can kind of see it, of me and my boyfriend from prom. Um, right here, I have this thing that I got for a graduation present that says Dream Big 2015, and you can actually like put a picture on it, but I just have it sitting on top of this jewelry box that a necklace came in. And then here, I have a few of these like um, scent things for our portable or wallflower things from Bath & Body Works. So there's a few like refills back there. This right here is a box that is from MAC that a bunch of their holiday um, glosses came in. And in here I just store my earrings and bracelets and a couple of rings in there. So I just thought the box was cute, so why not use it? Then moving on next to this, I have my coffee machine. It's like a single serving thing. Um, this is like the basket that goes with it. It's just a Hamilton Beach Flex Brew I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. So Then over here... I have one of these like single drawer Sterilite things, and here I really just hold hair products, um, a brush, hair ties, all that stuff. My extensions are back in that bag, and yeah, just my necessities. On top of this here I have this little thing, it's a ring holder, and I got it from Target, but it's so cute because it has a mouse on it, if you can see that, it's super cute. I just draw all my rings, or most of my rings on here for decoration, and then here I have my big um, eye home kind of thing has my clock and then my iPod sits up there so it plays my music for me when I'm getting ready and stuff and then moving on down to here um I'll start over in this corner I have two of these um I don't know exactly what they're called they're like caddies but they store all of my school supplies so I have like books um notebooks I mean notebooks and folders and printer paper on this side and this side holds like my textbooks and then um, up above there I just have, there's a cork board all in the back of this that came with the desk. So I have like a cheerleading bow from high school. And then here I have another cheerleading decoration thing from high school. Um, up there I have some pictures of me and my friends, me and my, me and my boyfriend. That's my school schedule. And that's everything up on the cork board. So then down on my desk next to my caddies I have this little jar that me and my friends all made each other before we went off to school. Um, with like memories that we have with each other in them to like make us happier. And then I have these two little jars that are from Walmart. They were like $3 each. This pink chevron. And they hold like my pencils, pens, scissors, school supplies, stuff like that. So then moving on here, I just have my makeup mirror, which I really love because it does light up. And it actually literally lights up this entire room in the morning when it's dark outside. So it's pretty bright. And then the magnified side, of course. The way. Then over here, I just have a squirt bottle that is actually empty. And then I have two of these little containers that are both from Target in the dollar section. And this one holds my makeup brushes, and this one back there holds cotton balls. Then I have some ear care solution, because I just got my ear pierced. And then this is makeup brush shampoo, and I have my, oops, my kabuki brush and another little brush right there that I didn't know where to put. And then just sitting right here, I normally keep some sort of washcloth or towel. Now for my actual makeup storage, this is what the setup of it basically looks like. Um, I just got these set of three drawers here from Walmart, I believe, for like $8 or so. 
and they basically hold everything that I brought with me. I did not bring all of my makeup with me. I was not able to because there's not obviously not enough room to fit a whole lot of stuff here. So I had to condense it down. But I think what I have here is a pretty good amount and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with what I have back here. Hiding back here, I normally keep my makeup remover wipes. And then there's like a little compact mirror sitting there. So nothing too exciting. Oops. Okay, and then here I have all of my palettes. They're basically in one of those like file organizer things, whatever you call them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that down and show you what's in there. Okay, so here are my palettes. They're all very, very disgustingly dirty, so I'm sorry. But in the back here, I just keep my naked palettes. I have the naked two and the naked three sitting right there. And then right here in the next section up, I keep my new naked smoky palette next to the Kat Von D Shade and Light. And then here I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, which I'm in love with. And then right here I just have my big um, MAC palette. This is actually really disgusting. It needs to be clean. But yeah, that's all the palettes, my bigger palettes that I brought with me. So now in front of the palettes, I just have this little three-section clear container that I got from Walmart. And it basically just stores um, like the necessities that I use all the time. So in the first section, I have my... Um, moisturizer, I have my Max Fix Plus, and then I have a few of my EOS chapsticks plus another little lip balm down there. And the second one I have a couple more like moisturizers. I have some face primers, that's like a face sunscreen. I have my pore minimizer stuff. And then this uh, third one I have my makeup eye makeup remover. I have two beauty blenders and then I have a, an EOS hand lotion. So now moving into the three drawers here, I split them up into face foundation stuff, then like more face and lips and then this is eyes okay so i just store everything in these little white containers that i got from the dollar store um to help organize it a little bit better so in this back one here i have all my favorite foundations that i brought with me um i have a cc cream by l'oreal down there is my benefit um hello flawless foundation i have another l'oreal true match um this is the maybelline fit me this is a revlon photo ready and then this is my absolute favorite this L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. I think this stuff is so cool and it looks perfect on my skin. And then I also have one more sitting right up in this little front section, which is one of my absolute favorites too. This is the Maybelline Dream, is, can you see that? Dream Smooth Mousse. So just a really nice lightweight foundation. And then this little container is probably the most boring thing here because there's like nothing in it, but just the concealers that I use. I have a Fit Me concealer. Um, this is a cover stick. Um, this one's actually really good. I love this one. This is Rimmel London. Then I have my, what is this, Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline, which is really, really nice. This one's like a, one that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. It's not going to focus, but it says Bye Bye Under Eye, and it's by It Cosmetics, and it is actually one of my favorite concealers ever. It has such great coverage, and like this little container has lasted me so long. It's insane. And then in this last section that doesn't have any organizing containers, I just keep my powders. So I literally have like three of these fit me things because I use them for my under eyes. And yeah, absolute favorite. I have a CoverGirl loose powder and then my Holy Grail powder is my MAC Studio Fix. So that is my first drawer with the foundations. And then moving on to the second drawer, which is a struggle to open because I have so many lip products smashed into here, is my lip and like highlighter cheek kind of drawer. So I have a couple like I have some NARS in here, MAC, lots of MAC lip glosses, um, baby lips, a couple drugstore lip liners, all of my MAC um, lipsticks are in here, more lip glosses. I have some MAC lip liners in here. Literally just a random bunch of everything. So that's all here on the side. And then I have another one of those clear containers right here. This first one, I just brought my three favorite blushes because I honestly don't wear a whole lot of blush. So I just bought three of my favorite MAC ones. Here's like my highlighters. I literally use this every single day. Like I don't even need any other ones. This is my MAC um, Soft and Gentle. It's disgusting and worn off, but yeah. Then I have a Doll 10 that I have there, my high beam, and then another little benefit sample size. And then in the back there, if you can see, that one's not very exciting either. I just have my Posy Tint, um, Benetint, and then this is a, what is this called? Tints and Sass. Like, you can use these for, like, lips or cheek stains, so very cool. Here I have my NARS Laguna and Orgasm Blush um, Duo. 
And then this is my Hoola bronzer. All right, then in the last drawer here, I have my eyes. So like all the eye stuff I have is this, and then all the palettes I showed you. So in this first white container, I keep my mascaras, my eyeliners, and eye primers. So I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I have my favorite mascara ever, which is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I really love this Sephora one. Um, I have a couple like sample sizes in here that I just got from Sephora. My L'Oreal Million Lashes. Oh, I have a couple of these mix jumbo eye pencils. This one's my favorite in milk. And then I just have my lash curler and my um, eyeliners in here. My favorite gel liner by, um, who's this one? Maybelline? No, L'Oreal. My favorite gel liner by L'Oreal. And yeah, basically that's everything. This big one. Back here I have a few more eyeshadows. I have my Naked Basics palette. Max Cinderella palette. And then a couple like glitter shadows. Um, this is basically all glitter. This is like the MAC. What is this thing called? Pearl Varnish um, by the Cinderella Collection. It's so pretty. And then, yeah, more glittery stuff back here. Here I have um, my Anastasia. This is Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde, which I really, really love. And then my other Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Kit, which is also absolutely disgusting looking. And I have a few, like, face tattoos for football games and stuff at school. So that is basically my entire makeup collection and so then in this drawer in my desk i just keep a bunch of really random like school supplies and stuff but there's no organization to this at all it's very like if you can see this is a very thin desk so like, there's not a whole lot of room to like put stuff in to organize it so it just kind of all sits out here so i'm just going to give you a quick little tour of it um right here i just have like a big box of q-tips because it fits perfectly right there so i keep it right there and then next to that i have a bunch of extra packs of gum i have some glue a stapler a couple of those little like binder rings chilling out there a really disgusting eraser and then some other backup erasers some glue sticks another eraser um i have some extra lead which really needs more lead so my pencils i have some um what is this called masking tape i think masking tape and then here i have a pack of extra dry erase markers because we have like a dry erase board on our door and i also have one in the room so i haven't actually opened these yet but i think that they're really pretty colors so here i have a roll of tape um, underneath of here I have a pack of colored pencils, um, some colored index cards, and then here I have a pack of my favorite pencils, which are the Papermate Mechanical Jumbo Twist Eraser Pencils. Here I have a couple of note cards or flashcards that I made for my biology class a while ago. This is just a pack of extra like lined paper, just in case I ever need that. And then here I just have a planner that the school gave me that I don't actually use. And then under that I just have this folder here with a bunch of like important oops, important papers. And then I just have a smoky cat. Oh, this came with the naked palette. Like tells you like different looks and stuff, which I thought was kind of cool. And I have like some cards and stuff, um, information about my printer. Um, yeah, just a bunch of random things right there. And then moving on in the back of the drawer, basically I have an extra roll of tape there. Um, I actually have another one, two more back there, you can't really see them. And then I have a pack of crayons, I don't know why, but I thought I would need like all these art supplies stuff, like just in case, I was like nervous if I didn't have it that I would need it. So I literally got all that stuff like glue and colored pencils and crayons and whatnot, and I have not even touched them, like even opened them, so. I have a pack of staples here that go with my little miniature pink stapler, that is from Walmart. And then back here I just have, I use these push pins um, on that board back there and then I have some clothes pins that I use to hang up pictures on on some string on my wall and then here I have like a bunch of like extra command hooks and strips and stuff like that so that's everything that is in my desk and yeah that is it so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you later bye